Hi, I'm Sean Holstage. I'm a reporter with AZ Central, and I'm here with Matt Casey. We've been following the events in Texas and the shooting. And uh, today we sat down with a woman who knew the one of the shooters, Elton Simpson, for about the last 10 years. Her name was Courtney Lonigan, and she talked to us a little bit about what uh, motivated him and a little bit about how he got radicalized here in Phoenix. And what they said was, he would always quote scholars, we would interpret it ourselves. We believe that everybody can have different faith and that people are beautiful and diverse human beings. He felt that everybody need to be a Muslim. So Matt, you've been researching the background of Elton Simpson all week. Uh, we sat down with Courtney Lon again. What, you heard what she said. What did you learn from that interview this morning? Uh, it seemed like he, there was a sharp contrast between who he was as a young man and who he became when he uh, converted to Islam. Uh, he sort of lost his identity, she seemed to say. Well, now they're like, oh, here's a brother that was well known and loved in the community, that hung out with all the kids, that was very scholarly, that seemed to be a very good Muslim. But he went and killed people in our country for freedom of speech. That is not okay. In that loss of identity, he kind of became a person who felt like his job was to uh, push uh, Islam on everyone. Right. And so what was that identity like? I mean, he, he was a basketball star, and then he kind of disappeared for a while, and then the next thing we know, he's in Texas. What, what was going on with him? What did, we, what did she say about that? Uh, she said that he spent a great deal of time at the mosque, um, and he kind of got recognized there uh, for being great at basketball mm -hmm. and developing respect of, of young children and, and other people uh, his age. Um, he spent a lot of time uh, with people who would cite scholars uh, as reasons for their belief in, mm -hmm. in, in, I guess, a conservative form of or a radical form right. of, of Islam. So Matt, one of the things I've been looking at this week is how do you get a guy with extreme ideas into the position where he goes and acts on those, those ideas and does something violent. Lots of people have strong opinions, lots of people are devout believers in whatever, but very few went, go on and act on those beliefs. This is what she said about that. He was able to do that because his identity, he felt like was even above any nation or country. His identity was to preserve and to push Islam on other people. He, through all this rhetoric and ideology, I would say he had to shed some of his American values. The American values of freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of expression. What I found interesting about what she said was that there was kind of a us versus them mentality mm -hmm. perpetrated within the mosque and a victimization and mm -hmm. uh, a kind of a a mixture of, of politics and religion, of, of state and religion, mm -hmm. and you know that kind of goes in, contra in contrast to what we've learned uh, growing up in America. Right, and it's also one of the central conflicts now within Islam, this whole idea of where does, where does politics end and where does religion start. Unfortunately, this ideology gets supported in the mosque when they invite different guest speakers and then even the imam themselves, there's a lot of judgment and there is a lot of rhetoric that is anti-American. And it's this us versus them rhetoric. And you, you could go yourself and just see it. What she suggested it could be replaced with is instead of focusing on things that are happening uh, in Palestine or in other parts of the world where there's injustice, mm -hmm. uh, focus on improving the community here. Focus on working within the system and using mm -hmm. democracy as a tool mm -hmm. to uh, uh, evoke change. Thanks for joining us today. This is Sean Holstage with AZ Central. Uh, we've got a story in Sunday's paper in the Arizona Republic. Matt Casey, thanks for joining us. Thank you, sir.